Section 50 of Poems by Currer, Ellis, and Acton Bell by Charlotte, Emily, and Anne Bronte. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. The Doubter's Prayer by Anne Bronte Eternal power of earth and air, Unseen, yet seen in all around, Remote, but dwelling everywhere, Though silent, heard in every sound. If e'er thine ear in mercy bend, When wretched mortals cry to thee, And if indeed thy Son was sent To save lost sinners such as me, Then hear me now, while kneeling here, I lift to thee my heart and eye, And all my soul ascends in prayer, Oh, give me, give me faith, I cry. Without some glimmering in my heart I could not raise this fervent prayer, but, oh, a stronger light impart, and in thy mercy fix it there. While faith is with me, I am blessed. It turns my darkest night to day. But while I clasp it to my breast, I often feel it slide away. Then, cold and dark, my spirit sinks, to see my light of life depart, and every fiend of hell, methinks, enjoys the anguish of my heart. What shall I do, if all my love, my hopes, my toil, are cast away? And if there be no God above, to hear and bless me when I pray? If this be vain delusion all, if death be an eternal sleep, and none can hear my secret call, or see the silent tears I weep, oh, help me, God, for thou alone canst my distracted soul relieve. Forsake it not, it is thine own, though weak, yet longing to believe. Oh, drive these cruel doubts away, and make me know that thou art God. A faith that shines by night and day will lighten every earthly load. If I believe that Jesus died, and waking rose to reign above, then surely sorrow, sin, and pride must yield to peace and hope and love. And all the blessed words he said Will strength and holy joy impart A shield of safety o'er my head A spring of comfort in my heart End of section 50